It is your boy, Mad Max. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why it's okay to have doubters and to have haters. And why it's also okay and actually is a good thing that you have people that might doubt you or might challenge you or are haters in a way. Because it means you're doing something right. Before I get into this topic, I first want to talk about Maximus Moves, my health and wellness coaching service for others living with physical disabilities, living with MD. I know how hard it is to find purpose and direction in life. Are you held back by self-limiting beliefs, thinking you'll never have the social life you want, the love life you want, or thinking fitness and health are totally out of the question? With my heart, mind, and body method, you will soon realize nothing is holding you back. Think of me as your older brother and accountability partner with the mission to improve your mind, body, and soul. So if you or someone you know is currently living with a physical disability, book a strategy session with me in the description below and we will create a workout and wellness plan catered to your personal needs to take back control of your life. If you also want to join my private Facebook group for other like-minded individuals, who want to take back their lives as well link is also in the description below so in this video i'm going to be talking about why it's okay to have doubters why it's okay to have haters why by having haters and doubters you're actually doing something right a lot of times we're told to be polite to be courteous and in a way be scared to get what we really want and in getting what we want, it might rub other people the wrong way. In becoming someone that goes for what they want, it might conflict with what other people want. And that's fine. It's fine if that is the case. I'm not saying to go and be confrontational at every opportunity, but at certain times when people are challenging you, it is hard not to. A lot of times in our society, we're told to just be polite, sit down, shut up. And there are times when that's not really feasible. There are certain times when you have to be unafraid to go for what you want. And being unafraid means, and being unafraid means not being afraid of what other people think of you what other people know of you, what other people regard you as. A lot of times we don't go for what we want because we're scared about how other people will feel about us. Will people's image of us change? And what I say to people that are thinking that, to just disregard those people. Be on your own path. Set out to go and achieve what you want in this life. It's not going to come by worrying about what other people think of you, what other people want of you. You have to do what's best for yourself. And sometimes people are not going to like that. And that's okay. It's okay if you have people that dislike you. It is actually brave to be able to have the courage to not be liked. A lot of times we're scared about not being liked. We're scared about other people's feelings and sometimes we put other people's feelings and what they regard as important above what we regard as important. And to get on your own path of improvement, whether you're able-bodied or disabled or whatever challenges you might be, you have to tune the voices of doubt out. You need to be on your own path and be fearless on that path. And this is a very difficult thing to do. It's a work in progress and it's a skill that you need to work on. But when it comes to some of the most successful people around today, whether it's athletes or whoever it might be, it comes down to tuning out a lot of these voices that are voices of doubt 
that are voices of insecurity. So, and if some of the greatest athletes had listened to some of their doubters, they might not have ever been able to become the greatest athletes in their field. So, last night, the Golden State Warriors won the NBA Finals, and the MVP, surprise, surprise, was Steph Curry. If at any time he had listened to those doubters saying, oh, you're not good at shooting threes, oh, I don't think you could make it. If he had listened to any of those people, he would not have been a four-time NBA champion. And I think that's the important takeaway here. To not listen to those that doubt you, to not listen to those that have questions about what you want to achieve in life. Before I continue with these ideas, I wanted to take this time to talk about supplements. More specifically, supplements I use every day. Whether it's creatine monohydrate to give me an extra boost to my workout, whey protein powder for my recovery, or hemp oil for pain and inflammation. I swear by them, and I recommend you add them to your daily routine as well. I also take CoQ10 to keep my heart strong, and lion's mane mushroom to keep my mind and memory in check. If any of these supplements appeal to you and you're interested, links are in the description below. Now back to the video. So as I was saying, a lot of the greatest athletes, if they listened to these doubters, these people thinking that they're not good enough, they never would have become the greatest in their sport, the greatest in their discipline. And it's about just going for it, not being afraid of what doubters, of what haters think. And again, if you have people that think that, that are doubting you, that are haters in any way, it means you're doing something right. If you weren't, you wouldn't have these voices of doubt and these voices that are telling you that you're not good enough. And sadly, a lot of times we believe those voices and we don't live to our true potential. That, I think, is a big lesson even I still need to learn. That a lot of these voices are from people that are disappointed in their own lives. And sadly haven't lived up to what they think they could live up to. But that being said... What you need to surround yourself with are people that support you on every step, at every juncture, that support you and are not voices of doubt, that are not voices that make you question whether the path that you're on is the right path or not. You need individuals that will lift you up and individuals that you can lift up as well. But again, having people that challenge you, people that doubt you, is not such a bad thing. And there is a certain amount of courage to being disliked, to being unapologetic about who you are and what you are in this world. And if people doubt you, well, it's their loss. It's their problem. You still just keep on doing what you're doing living on your purpose, on your mission, and being unafraid to get what you want, to ask for what you want, to do what you want. And again, if you have doubters or haters, it means you're doing something right. So if you like this video, please smash that like button, comment, subscribe. Until next time, it's your boy Max, over and out.